Change to become more open uh, as to this, the pace of that change. Uh, we don't know. One of the main problems with making progress in that change is that uh, ac uh, academic publishing uh, globally per year is roughly out of $12 billion industry. Uh, and uh, most of that money goes to traditional publishers, such as uh, Elsevier, Wiley, etc. And uh, there's a challenge for them for making their research open because they, they stand to lose uh, billions of dollars or pounds. Uh, but the, the change is moving to open. Uh, they're kind of uh, cheating to a certain extent by uh, maximising uh, maximizing their profits in a different way. Making stuff open but still making a lot of money. But uh, this, the current system is, in my view, uh, morally wrong because uh, us as academics uh, do all of our research in terms of the publication of that research, we do all that work for nothing. We hand our work over to publishers who be, and you hand over your copyright. So once you finish your research, you're essentially giving it away free of charge. And in order to read your own research, you have to pay to get it back. I think that's morally wrong. Thank you very much. One more question. Uh, can you explain the Creative Commons licences? Uh, Creative Commons licences have been around for roughly 12 years and they're a supplement to traditional copyrights. If you think of copyrights graphically as a C and a circle that, and that stamp, and uh, traditionally, even if I was to have a piece of paper here and write four words or whatever, the second that my paper, my pen leaves that paper, that's copyrighted. I didn't intend to copyright it, but that's traditional copyright, C. The alternative to that in a digital age has got two C's in a circle. And it's, I'm, not, I'm not wearing one of my Creative Commons shirts today, but that is uh, Creative Commons, which is a suite of uh, licences uh, that, that are legally binding. They're machine readable, and it gives you roughly five different uh, levels of how open you want to make your research. You can make it public domain, PD, that used to be called CC0, that's the most uh, open licence, which basically means they, they, I take my four words and rather than putting a C on it, I put a CC0 and anybody can use my four words. So that's the most open and there's then uh, various other options. Uh, you, uh, you can share it, but you're not, you're not allowed to make any derivatives. Uh, you can share it, but you can't make uh, commercial use. So for example, as a musician, uh, I've released about 70 songs that I wrote over the years and they're using different uh, Creative Commons licences. That, that was about seven years ago and my knowledge on Creative Commons is much better now than it was back then. But for example, some recordings that I did say were of a, a bands where I didn't actually write the song. So I don't have, I didn't write the song, so therefore I, I'll, I'll make it open, but it's for non-commercial purposes. Because if they found out I was selling their song for nothing, uh, they wouldn't be too pleased. So that's one of the main advantages of Creative Commons is that there's a different tier depending on what suits your needs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>